Frank Lampard is often dependable in delivering in these circumstances. He was seated in another Chelsea tracksuit top on Thursday with his initials on it, so there was no apparent shame. Raheem Sterling previously asserted on Newsnight that your Frank Lampards receive all the managerial opportunities, but your Sol Campbells don't. This statement was handled deftly. Lampard is used to participating in prearranged news appearances, so doubts about his integrity are familiar. Yet it was impossible to ignore how peculiar it was that this was his second appearance at Stamford Bridge in less than four years. And it is only possible because, just three months ago, it was decided that he couldn't prevent Everton's relegation. On Monday, with Sean Dyche in charge, Everton returned from being down a man and a goal against Tottenham to earn 11 draw. According to those who know them, Everton would have lost that game under Lampard. Naturally, your Sean Dyches doesn't frequently land these jobs either. It is the insanity of contemporary Chelsea. Todd Bowley has spent the last 11 months blowing up the club and eliminating its intellectual leadership, from the technical director to the groundskeeper. He is now choosing to defend himself using Lampard as a human shield. In announcing Lampard's return, Bowley stated, I wanted to offer the club and our supporters a clear and stable strategy for the balance of the season. Supporters had hoped to see a clear and steady strategy for the medium to long term, but it appears that something will have to be done for the 51 days remaining in the season. Given that the money Bowley Blue makes Chelsea's squad the fifth best in London, he will need all the supporters he can find among the club's alums. Yet considering that Stamford Bridge is being transformed into a 21st century stadium, problems lie ahead, including where to inform the club's supporters they would be leaving. The investment bankers who brought Bowley and his Clear Lake Capital Group to Chelsea 11 months ago were aware that the most challenging aspect of the task was to reconstruct. The optimal course of action entails demolishing and reconstructing the structure to accommodate 55,000 people. It would take 12 to 18 months to remove the debris and five years to complete the job. Where can I play while waiting? Craven Cottage Capacity 30,000. Distant Wembley, there will be no tolerable option. Before taking on this, Bowley ought to have received some praise. Consider the history of these old athletic institutions carefully, and advise at least one of the financial companies that have recently assisted U.S. purchasers in finding British clubs. These folks claim that you are merely acting as custodians. But, Bowley has done immeasurable damage to the image of such purchasers by tearing the club apart like a maniac football management player. Those searching for hope for Lampard, the sequel might hold on to the fact that Mason Mount, Reese James, Fikayo Tomori, and Tammy Abraham thrived under his guidance four years ago when the club was subject to a transfer embargo. The finest day of his life came as a result of the embargo. It all became more difficult when the tap was switched back on. Now it's gushing. In stark contrast to the hope-fostering glorious fall of 2019, Lampard's legacy is the exact reverse of reality. The remaining nine Premier League games for Chelsea appear to be formidable. They will face each of the top four teams. With Lampard, there is less pressure, but there is still stress. If Bowley's debut season is not going to be an even larger car crash, he needs a solid return from this month with games remaining against Manchester City and Newcastle. Lampard recited a list of the club's past players from the 1970s at his first news conference at Dobby five years ago, requiring only a little assistance with Colin Todd. Despite being fired by Chelsea earlier, he referred to them as my club this time. It's not about unfinished business for me, he declared. It has a Hollywood feel to it. I want to work and assist in any way I can. Bowley had his heart set on a little Hollywood, but the bookies saw an opening. On Thursday night, one offered 14 over 1 chances of Lampard being fired before the season's finish.